to my channel. I decided to come in the RV. It's actually pretty chill, chilly today. I think it's going to be a high of 60 something, 67. We have a pretty fun weekend. Tomorrow's Father's Day and I booked tickets for the whole family to go on a train ride at Rondek Railroad. We've gone on it a few times. We've gone on the rail bikes. The rail bikes are really fun and they had a Father's Day, Father's Day deal where the father can get his ride for free. Um, you do have to pay for lunch if you choose lunch option. I did lunch options for all of us. This will be a fun little trip. We usually go to church on Sunday, but I figured one Sunday ain't gonna kill us. I just try not to make a habit out of it. They had an option for today, Saturday, but my husband has been so busy. I would The last thing I want to do is be like, hey, we're going on a train ride. And he has like a million things to do. Um, like surprise him with that. That would not be a good surprise. <laughs> I already knew. So I was like, Sunday, it's usually church. So it would be perfect because we like to keep our Sundays kind of like work free for the most part in terms of like doing any projects or anything. Not like work work but like projects around the house, renovation which is what we have been doing so much of lately. So I'm in the RV by the way because I had a table come in from the brand Solder, Solder on Amazon. We haven't done much with this RV since our last RV trip. My husband just winterized it and he has been working on all winter he has been working on batteries for the rv so he got i think 12 batteries something like that hi pepper you want to come in hey buddy i think i was saying that my husband was working he's been working on the rv as well all winter he did the rv batteries to use them instead of hooking up to electricity but batteries obviously they run out of juice so he wants to hook them up to some solar panels that he bought and is going to install on the roof that way you can kind of boondock um you are limited in terms of your black tank your water you know you only can go so far when it comes to flushing the toilet and stuff like that before you have to dump but in terms of having to hook up to electricity we'll be good in that department so that took up quite a bit of researching for him and installing and getting it he's he did it basically all winter but now that winter is over we are working on stuff like yesterday we painted the foundation in the house he painted the floor in the basement i have a vlog where i was helping him paint the walls in the basement just to like freshen it up pepper you're back but you don't want to go inside like i'll open the door for him and then he runs away i want to vlog tomorrow for the train ride but today i wanted to kind of do a bit of an update i feel like with youtube they are known for long form content. I know there's YouTube shorts now, which I guess they're nice because I watch them sometimes. YouTube is known for long form content. So that's what they're good at. I feel like this is why I love YouTube. You kind of build a community, you build a family, you really get to know the person. So you wanna know who you're watching, why you're watching them, what are they about, why should I watch them? So I kinda wanted to do a chatty vlog updating what's been going on this past week. We That's basically all we've been doing is just doing stuff around the house. Right now he's also working on the fireplace, painted the walls. Well, there was like the hallway that we needed to paint, we never painted. So when we bought this house, I don't know how many years ago, it was a complete gut job because whoever lived here, they, I don't know if they passed away or they just moved to a nursing home or something like that, a facility. So nobody was living in the house, it was so run down. So we knew going in it would be a lot of work for my husband. He did everything from like the floors, we did the hardwood floors, uh, the bathrooms, the kitchen, the windows, the sliding doors, the siding, the roof, the landscaping, the driveway, literally everything, the basement, just so much stuff, the deck. So it's just been like nonstop little projects. When we moved in, a lot of these projects didn't get done till later or we just put them off. So now we wanna like, literally finish everything to the T, have it done, get out of the way, and so the house can be like turnkey. So this whole week that's kind of what's been going on. And then my table came in. I finally found the table for the RV, so I thought in today's video I would try to assemble that. We've been looking for an RV table for the longest time, so I'll give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek. We do have some vlogs of how we remodeled this RV. We got it off auction for a pretty good price, and it had an electrical fire behind where you see the cutting boards right there on the other side there was um something about the outlets my husband said it was definitely a manufacturer not a manufacturer so whoever built this built this issue and it caused an electrical fire and it melted the tv on top on the other side uh the whole wall was burnt through the cabinets were filled with smoke so we had to get rid of some of the furniture but 
that you guys can check out in those vlogs because I feel like they have some great information. When you first walk in, there's the master bedroom with the bathroom. Hi, Pepper. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> and then the bathroom's here. You can access it from both sides. There's like a sliding door here or a swing open door here. And then you have the main living portion. You have this little nook right here, which they used to have a connected, like a love seat situation. And they were both massage chairs, like lazy boy type massage chairs. We sold those, got rid of them because it just wasn't the style we were looking for. And then here, there used to be a couch that came with the RV, um, but when we bought it, it wasn't there. I'm assuming they took it. So we bought our own couch. Then you have the toy hauler garage portion here, which my kids love playing here. You can tell by all their little stuffies and stuff. They'll literally just come here and play. It's one of their favorite things to do. And then there's a drop down ramp, which turns into a patio. The kids have their own door, but they don't have a bathroom. Some toy haulers will have a little bathroom. We don't really care for one because I feel like RVs are so small anyway. Um, it's not that big of a deal to walk 10 steps and go to the main bathroom plus you're missing out on space It's nice, but because you get a little bit more storage, but we want to buy like a really tall 72 inch cabinet armoire situation to store all their clothes and stuff But as you can tell there's really no place to like sit and eat here. This is like all his stuff He's gonna sort through that and like I said, we haven't really been using the RV much so the toy hauler portion actually has these holes while well, these things in the floor where they had these futon type chairs and then there's one in the middle there where you could put like a dining table. The futons we sold and my husband custom built these two queen sized bunk beds. We just got to buy a ladder for it and the table, there was never a table here. So there's really no place to eat here when it comes to eating space. Usually an RV will have like a little dinette section where the fridge is right here in the pop out. Um, but there's really nothing. So the only place where we can have a sit-down eating situation is in that corner there and that corner is pretty small the slide right here does slide in and then you're also right at the main entrance so you don't want it to be so bulky where you walk in and you're hitting a bench or a table that's you know it's not just ideal so we have to be pretty specific about measurements he never likes how my coffee smells look at this kid he does this all the time <laughs> he tries to cover it up Pepper, I'm sure you've smelled worse things than coffee. I don't know why he hates the smell of coffee. Somebody said it's because coffee can have an undertone of like urine, which I mean, I don't smell that, but I found that to be very interesting. Anytime he smells coffee, he's like, mm, yeah, let's cover that up because that I ain't about that. So we had certain measurements that we needed to kind of abide by. So I found, and then also you want it to look nice, you want it to kind of match. We have like these whitewashed cabinets up top and these dark chocolate ones on the bottom. You know, you don't want something like cherry colored that's not going to match, at least not me. You want it to match the style as well. So it was very difficult trying to find. I know that is the least of the problems in the world. I get that. But in, but in retrospect of the situation at hand and what we were talking about, you know, that's kind of what's been going on. So we finally found one on Amazon from the brand Sauter. So this is what the table color looks like. I feel like it's a match made in heaven. It is a little bit more gray toned than the cabinets for the RV. But because this table is not going to be directly next to those cabinets, it's going to be right here in the corner. I'm sure it'll be noticeable, but not as much because it's not like exactly side by side is what I'm trying to say. But out of all the tables that we've looked at, I feel like this is, it fits the bill in terms of size. Definitely color wise, I feel like it's a pretty good match. It has like those gray tones similar to the flooring as well, so it'll blend right in. Um, it has storage in the compartment underneath the tabletop so this is what the table looks like and then these open up it's a conference table and it's part of their Costa collection and these doors right here open up for some storage inside which is great in my opinion because I feel like I could always use more storage but there's a little bit of damage when I just took it out like right here this part is dented in I'm gonna take a photo of it so it's not like solid wood or anything. I think it was like $300 on Amazon. So I'm excited to assemble it, clean that section up. Let me call my husband and see what he's up to. The 
table is all done and assembled. There are a few issues. The little ding on the side here somewhere. I think it's on the side we put out, so it's on the back side. Underneath, it's right, right here, which can be an issue because then it, would, it can easily peel all that stuff. And then the, this door right here is not straight. My husband's pretty good at, you know, handy stuff, and it is warped. So this door kind of like sticks out a little bit. I might contact them, let them know. Uh, but otherwise, you know, I feel like it's a perfect match color-wise. It matches very well with the rest of the unit. This one is a little bit more yellow warm toned, especially with the lights, whereas that one's facing natural light. And then it has a little bit of storage here, which is nice. It has a slot for pulling wires through. These are kind of like conference tables and it has an option to assemble a few if you want to assemble them side by side. This is a map, custom map that was sent to me a while back from Trip Map World. And it comes with like little pins, so everywhere you go, you can put a little pin on it. I plan to like hang that up right here. Also, it actually matches perfectly, and then this is a little slot for... I actually put this behind so it's not in the way so you guys can get an idea. I think the fun part is going to be trying to find benches to match. We might hit up the store at home. They have some pretty decent priced benches for a very affordable price. Put one behind, one here, call it a date. But I'd say this is a pretty good find. It's like two, three hundred dollars, something like that. Obviously, it's not real wood, so you know, don't expect it to be crazy high quality, but definitely kind of like fits the bill of everything that we were looking for. And finally, can like check that off of our list. It's freezing, absolutely freezing. So I'm gonna go in the house now. And mm -hmm. all right, let's go. Maybe make some chili. Let me bring some stuff. Kids like always. You do have to bring toys in here, bring some stuff in the house. You did eat chili. You love chili. Look at her outfit. This girl dresses herself, by the way. Is chili those black brown things? Yeah. Do you like chili? It's like a little soup. Is chili soup? Kind of. You like it? Yummy, right? But mama, what? Okay, let's go. I'm gonna actually, instead of doing chili, chili day, chili on chili day, make some cabbage soup. Let's see, we have everything. You need cabbage, carrot, celery, canned diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, broth, and then like some spices, onion, oil, yeah. So I think I'm gonna do that instead. It's gonna take about an hour. So I added in some onion and garlic, fried it up a bit until it's nice and soft, and then adding in the cabbage, and I'm gonna add in the diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, carrots and celery. This smells so delicious because of the garlic mainly. <laughs> bamboo heart earrings. I've always wanted, bamboo? yeah, it looks like a bamboo. Can I see? Look. Super What's cute. What's a bamboo? Bamboo, is it a stalk? Call a stalk? Well, let me pop it in. And then these bracelets are Anna Luisa as well. I wear them all the time just because I'm too lazy to take them off. You probably should take them off, but they've held up really, really well. Like, I'm not having any issues with them whatsoever. But how cute are these? It's like a little heart with like the bamboo texture super cute and then i got a few more which i'll talk about in another video but love it i love anna Luisa. Mm -hmm. 